My people, what's really going on? <laughs> I fooled y'all, didn't I? You know I fooled you. Listen, people. It's going down. I'm just here to tell you that. I am graced, blessed. Listen, just the beginning of the show. You guys are going to see that we had an entirely different show today, right? The liberation that I received. Listen, today was an amazing day for me, right? Shout out to all of my people who made it. Know what it is. Mike, check in this situation. Greetings from South Africa. Shout out, shout out. Hey, Dub said, now this one is serious. Indeed it is, my brother. Indeed it is. People, we have a four alarm blaze. Listen, when I told you guys that, you guys know what it is. Like, um, this isn't entertainment for us. This is a thing that we're trying to do, right? This is a thing that we're trying to do, and it's important to us because it establishes our generations, right? It establishes all of those things. It is our legacy, right? I have to tell you guys, I feel beyond blessed. I bumped into information today. I don't think we have to do a lot more guesswork than what People, I'm almost 100% certain I have this thing figured out. We talk about this thing often. And we knew this couldn't be some type of behavior, right? You, this isn't a behavior. You can't learn this. Look at what we're seeing. And for those of you who don't know, who don't have a clue what I'm talking about, we're going to jump right on into it. Those of you who don't know what I mean when I say you can't learn this. I am talking about the regular behavior of African-American women that we can't seem to figure out. That, that's not that bad, right? For those of us who have been paying attention, that's not that bad. Be to focus on the statistics of men because I don't care if the world in, is crashing and coming to an end and the sky is falling. A woman should maintain her standards. I don't care if there's one pack of bread left in the whole United States. A woman I want you guys to look at her face when she speaks. My first time encountering her, I felt the presence of the devil. People, these people are not moving on their own accord. They're not. These people have assistance. I need you guys to think about all of the things that take place in our community, right? Think about all of the things that take place in our community. Not only that, think about how long we've been at this. Think about how long we've been trying to correct this thing. And we've gotten nowhere. It only gets worse every year. I know you guys are often scared to say it. I'm not. Turbulence, people. This is the nastiest, most ratchet spectacle of women ever to touch this planet. Those of us who are somewhat deep thinkers, sometimes it'll take you to a place of oblivion. 
where you're like, listen, you guys should see this place. Like I'm jotting things down, all of our shows, I'm doing the research. And primarily this thing taking place within the African-American community, it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, let me give you a gist right now. For those of you who didn't hear, Because I don't want to hear it, so you say whatever bad words you want to say, and I'll be back, okay? Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Shit. God damn it. Shit. The fuck? Man, god damn. Shit. Nigga. Oh, shit. If we got caught venting and sneaking a curse word in the back of the house, hiding up under the car, thinking nobody's looking, and we saw those house slippers, we knew it was a wrap. Let alone being encouraged to do it. Let's go. Bitch, what the fuck? Oh shit, not again. Oh, shit. Are you done? I close the door because I don't want to hear it. So you say whatever bad word. The question I have is, somebody help me understand the benefit that came out of that. And for those of you who don't know, I could have pulled 50 clips like that up. They're all over TikTok. It's a new thing that they're doing. I agree. LB said child neglect. How can't it be? You guys are thrusting children ahead of their time. Let's say that this is how the world works, and we know it is. There are certain things that we don't encounter until certain ages, right? Let's say S-E-X. We... You guys are going to get me ahead of the show. I have clips that will have you chewing past your fingernails. Listen, let's say that there's ages that establish the thing, the experiences in our lives that we encounter. Let's say S-E-X. People typically didn't cross that path till around 16, right? But what if I allow my child to watch P-O-R-N at the age of 10? I expedite, I expedite the time frame that it usually would have taken that child to be curious enough to actually physically experiment. That's what they're doing. Yeah, listen, Gatewood said they have four and five-year-old kids dancing to Sexy Red. Yes, twerking. People, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. This stuff is abnormal. Even to the point, shout out to my brother Joe in this situation with the cash, the super chat. You heard what my brother said. Let's get the likes up. You guys have no clue how long I've been trying to, not in a malicious way. I've been wanting the answers. Like, what? I shouldn't play this. But I'm going to play it. I don't care about monetizing the channel. See how you
For those of you who don't know, yes, that really is church. They have taken the elements of the club and put it in the church. Now, I'm going to play this whole clip. Nobody sees anything wrong with this. For those of you who saw this on our YouTube, there were women under it who said, well, as long as they find in a way to still worship. You think that's what they're doing? Those are niggas is what those are. Little skanks in the making. Shout out to my brother Rashawn in this situation. Go Harmony, get it! You bald head skank. You know what this brings to my mind? The passage in the Bible where Jesus entered in to the place of worship, I believe, and he saw that they had turned it into, they were selling things, and he started flipping the tables over. He said, what did he say? You make my father's house a den of thieves? They're in the church here. So my question to you people is this. If we can go ahead and groom them and make them think that this right here is okay, what happened? I think we all have to take into consideration. We all have to start looking at things through the purview of now what happens after this. Right? Give a kid a puff on a cigarette. There has to be something after that. There has to be something next two months from now, a month from now. That's why they call things gateway drugs. But let's go. I really wish there were more women in here. You women are so out of control that up under the comments, when we posted that, what, two months ago, Mike, check, what was that, two months ago? We posted that on our YouTube, and there were women coming to the defense of it. Texas represents in this situation. It's not okay. It's not okay. Scriptures debunk what they're doing in church. Wrong. It's simple, bro. The reason these women are so sick, majority of them, 70 to 75% of them, is because they don't have the one element that sees just as plainly as my brother Texas represents. He said, it's simple, bro. Man, we don't have to think about this stuff. We don't have to ponder. I wonder, is this wrong? We don't, we don't have to. Things come simple to us. And I'm not talking about on an intellectual level. I'm not talking about just being smart. We really do not experience the levels of delusion that women experience. You guys almost have someone speaking in your ear. What I figured out, and I am certain in my beliefs, I'm going to dig even deeper into it. These women who we have these issues with, turbulence people. They worship Satan. These are children of Babylon. You know how we know? They say you are what you do every day. 
these people have us in a constant whirlwind of amazement. By the time we get close to figuring out this weird thing we saw them doing like last week, they start a new trend of doing something even more devastating that has our jaw dropped three times what it was last, last week. And it doesn't stop. Everything that we have saw them do that rocked our worlds, it didn't stop there. When we started experiencing them, this was years ago, decades ago, when we started understanding that they were having SEX way earlier than what it used to be, it tripped us out. We found a way to get over that because we saw that they weren't going to stop. What we saw after that, they start sewing other races of people's hair in their heads. And I think we still <laughs> haven't got, gotten over that yet. It is real. It's not synthetic. It is real. Somebody else's DNA being glued to your scalp. But then they say that they are the standard. Well, why are you trying so hard to look like an entirely different ethnic group of people? I guess I'm not going to say we got over that. But in the process of us getting over that, we start seeing them cake on makeup, littering their face with cosmetics so deep to where you can't recognize who they are. Then we started seeing them walk around almost with a whole boob hanging out. They wouldn't even deal with the clothing that would cover things up, right? We saw the baby boom. Just having babies by strangers. Someone they met at the club tonight. Every time you rock our worlds and blow our minds, we know that that's not it. These women are under the authority of absolutely no one. They roam the earth wreaking havoc and causing chaos regularly. And out from their wombs come the monsters that plague society. This stuff is harsh. I understand how saying it out loud may be harsh. I understand that. But we know it to be factual. We know it to be factual. People, we need to get those likes up there with the uh, with the views. Let's get 25 likes. Hit that thumbs up button, people. It's about to get hectic. Hey, listen. Texas represents not playing any games. Scriptures. These scriptures that Texas represents, drop. those are real. The scriptures talk about the daughters of Zion's scalp in Isaiah. Your heads have been cursed. And look what we see. I want you people to understand something. These are the children of Babylon the Great. That's what we're dealing with. The Bible talks about things that fit the description of these people that we're seeing and these behaviors that we're seeing. We we our our worlds have been getting rocked, right? Our worlds have been getting rocked trying to figure out what it is that we're seeing. We knew it wasn't normal, especially men. The women who rock with us, I will say this. I salute you to the highest. Because I know you have the same biology as these broken women, so I know it must be difficult to somehow Bob and weave through all of the information and the accusations you hear us laying claim and finding ways to not take it offensive and to not look at it like you, we're pointing at you too. I commend that greatly. It simply means that you made it through the carnage. It simply means that you didn't end up being one of the ones to worship Satan. Those of you who know this show, you know I don't say things without receipts. Again, show's going to be hot. 
there's no way to even mimic this behavior. And what I mean by that is this. The fellas know exactly what I'm talking about. If men wanted to get up and mimic just so we could feel what's going on with them, just so we could try to figure it out. If men wanted to get up and mimic what we're seeing of these women every day, it would be tough because it would look like we're trying to either experience something or figure it out. We would go to the beauty salon and tell them, okay, I don't know how you do it, but glue that stuff in my hair. You know, the frontal laces, glue that stuff in my hair, right? And we would still have a look of confusion. We would still be trying to figure it out. And it would look like that's what we're doing, right? Then we would tell them to put the Freddy Krueger raptor fingernails on, you know. It would be difficult for us to copy this. Do you know why it would be difficult? Because they're not just doing a thing. These people are being remote controlled. It's not them. I think this. I think we dissect the Bible, but just in our daily lives, we get caught up in living our daily lives. And a lot of times we we just, I guess after we read things, we don't expect to really see what we read in the Bible, right? The Bible goes on to say, what is it? For we wrestle not, listen to me, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against spiritual wickedness in high places this is what i'm telling you if men wanted to step by step try to copy this we couldn't really do it because they're not really doing it I remember my grandmother, I, I grew up, I lived with my grandparents, and they, they took a special liking to me because I guess they considered some of my circumstances, and they, they right, <laughs> you, you guys remember those big floor model TVs? You know, you have to get up and click, 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 sometimes might even have the vice grips once the thing breaks. Well, my grandmother, she was serious about certain shows, The Price is Right, um... Dallas, um, Knott's Landing, right? Y'all don't hear me though, right? <laughs> um, 227. So I'm a kid. And let's say I'm I'm watching with her, but let's say I try to put my leg around my, behind my neck and I'm just goofing off like a kid watching at the same time though. My grandmother, bona fide, devout Christian. She would just look at me and say, yeah, I see you ain't even trying to fight it. You just done let him have his way with you, huh? <laughs> My grandmother used to associate, like, when you're getting a little bit too out of hand, yeah, you're not even trying to resist this evil. You just done told Satan, have your way with me, right? Well, that's what we're dealing with. These people have yielded to this and they don't even have consciences anymore. They can't be condemned. They can't be shamed. Do you know how easy it is to shame me? It's hecka easy. Sometimes when you guys will hear me slip and curse, I repent later on because I feel bad about it, right? I'm not saying anything to knock any of the people who curse regularly. That's my thing. There's things that convict you that may not convict me as easily, right? Yeah, Jimmy Swag. <laughs> Fall guy, talk that talk. <laughs> right, right, right. That's what we're seeing, people. Listen. Maybe some of you women too, I don't know. But I know for men, if we wanted to get up and copy them, we couldn't. Because it would be a process. We would have to figure out what beauty salon to go to. We would have to figure out how to, you know, tell them what we want. We want the girls who be wearing the frontal laces just do that for us. It wouldn't seem right. It wouldn't be natural. These women are moving in a fluent flow of darkness. 
and it's easy for them. That's why we can't shame them. I think a lot of men have been thinking if we stayed on their tops, if we hit them with statistics, historical data, a man is logical, people. A man says to himself, yeah, they won't be able to get a back door out of that. She's going to feel terrible once I hit her with this. You're crazy. That woman will make a statement like, I said what I said. Okay, that's not it. I I'll get it. But what I'm saying to you is this. These people have forsaken everything that is holy. I'm not trying to even get religious on you. I'm telling you, we have been trying to figure this thing out for the longest. When you can't figure out something that moves and walks in front of you daily, that's a problem. That's a problem. Listen, we even know what the guys who like young children, even they kind of have a look that we can identify with. We can kind of identify what's going on with them, right? But these women, we haven't been able to. There's a power behind what's going on with them. These women, the only thing that will give us closure to what's going on, the Bible talks about the things that fit the description of what we're seeing and what we're looking at. This is a behavior that has never before been seen or experienced. It's not a human experience. But let's get to the other clips. You know how we do. There's so many, there's so many. Let's go. I don't believe in gender roles. So what you're talking about is stuff that like I don't Ma'am, are you being that, honest? I don't believe in gender roles. So what you're talking about is stuff that like I don't Ma'am, are you being honest? Did you just say you don't believe in I, gender roles? Yeah, I don't. So I that means put nobody in a box. I don't think there is some cookie cutter like image no you know ma'am i want i want to ask you do you goals that we have to follow listen we got to touch this again who buys your who do you have a son huh do you have a son yes yes i do who buys his clothes me how many dresses have you bought him not one he's never asked for a dress why not if you don't believe in gender roles if he would have asked for a dress, I would have let him buy one. I want to tell all of you this right now. This is the danger in black women raising our children. This is the I don't understand why that was so low. This is a black woman said if her son wanted to buy a dress, she would let him. She doesn't identify with gender roles. I think it's important for us to understand where we're at right now. These things that we're seeing, we read them a long time ago in the Bible. But I think what's rocking our minds is the full-on encounter with it. We're seeing it now, right? I think a lot of people read or were taught things about the Bible that as we're listening to it, as we're reading it, we're also telling ourselves that probably won't happen in my lifetime. It's here right now. We're being confronted with it full on right now. I want to show you this. If we're going to do it, let's do it. For like getting a, a, a 13 year old girl a toy. I'm not sure if I would get my 13 year old girl a toy. Do I think it's inherently wrong? If it's a vibrator or something that like they were describing in the video, which they said, if my 13 year old asked for the vibrator and I, I would get it for her if it's something that it's low vibrational, that it's not nothing serious. When I saw that, I couldn't believe it. The woman who said it is actually an attractive woman, but she's broken beyond all understanding. And move you on over here. What is that? 
different men vocalizing their disdain. I want you guys to see how these people look. There's parts in the Bible that associate this with, could you imagine what this woman really, really, really looks like? She looks nothing like that. You know it and I know it. I think what we've been trying to understand, we've been trying to understand it from, I mean, listen, you got to think about it. Think about it from this perspective. These women are lying on their backs, letting men you don't even know nut inside of your bodies. Get up, accepting a phone call from a completely different man and letting him nut on top of the nut that the last guy already left inside of you, right? What I'm saying sounds crazy, but we know it's real. Listen, there's too many people in here, people, for this. Let's get those likes up. I'm going to have to pause the show. We got a, hot, a, lot, of hot mo a lot more hot clips coming. Uh, yeah, we got to do better than this, people. Hit that thumbs up button. These other clips that I'm going to show you are going to help you understand what I'm talking about. We have been, listen people, let's get those likes up. Shout out to my brother Mike Check, the first teachers of our children. These are facts. The most broken and spiritually bankrupt women in the world are teaching our children. Right? We're talking about women who on a regular basis is letting strangers released, release their genetic makeup inside their bodies, inside of your cavities, inside of your bodies. I don't know how I can say it that'll make it as repulsive to you as it is to us. We know you're doing it on a regular. It's why a lot of times you don't even know who the father of your children are. If we're going to be honest, we can go ahead and call it what everybody else calls it. Turbulence, people. Come, dumpsters. That is one of the most accurate phrases that, as it pertains to something like that, come dumpsters. The lowest of quality of women, just letting men who, he was cute, I saw him at the club last night. Now he gets the nut inside of you. You know nothing at all about the mental illnesses that run in his family. You know nothing at all about the STIs he might have. And we stop and we ask ourselves, how is it that we can't convince them this is crazy? It's because they worship Satan. I know women in my personal life who are at church every Sunday, right? They even post scriptures on their social media regularly. And men who are personally in my life are busting those same women, taking turns, busting those same women down on a regular at their beck and call. The Bible says that you can get so low down to where your conscience can become seared like a hot iron to the point where you, when you do bad things, you guys know how sometimes if you steal something, when you're about to walk out the store, you feel like everybody's looking at you, right? You feel like everybody's looking at you. Shout out to my brother Mike Check with the super chat. <laughs> Human freaking condoms. You know how we know? Because African American women have five times the abortion of any other group of, of, of women. Real life come dumpsters and I want to make this clear while everybody's watching listen Miss Sierra said me too and I'm pretty sure listen and I'm pretty sure what she's talking about is she knows people who go to church faithfully every Sunday 
scriptures on their social media, and you know their personal business. What I'm telling you guys that we're dealing with, we are dealing with Satan worshipers. We are dealing with the children of the Antichrist. Um, listen, as I stumbled up on this stuff today, my soul got freed. Because I'm, I'm a problem solver. I have to have answers to things. And this thing right here is unbelievable. Right? Our women don't even look like humans. I want to show you something. Look at this woman. Different men vocalizing their disdain about women. This woman has so much makeup on, it looks like a filter. Has someone else's hair in her head. I've done this a couple of times, but I want to ask people to see who will answer. Somebody in the comments, type what the first thing is to come to our minds when we hear the word claws. What's the first thing to come to your mind? Claws. Somebody tell me, rock with me. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word claws? Animals. These people are mimicking animals in every way possible. They have more rampant sex than animals. I want you to see this. Different men vocalizing their disdain about women. Here's a solution. Don't deal with it. Different men. You freaking Nimrod, in case you haven't caught on, we don't deal with it. Which is why your divorce ratio is what it is. We've been left you alone. But you know what we hate? You still affect us. You still affect us. What you are unleashing on society is no different than a plague straight from the Bible. Say, well, since you guys have left us alone, since you guys have left us alone, why is it any of your business what we do? Women who have laid on their backs and let strangers who they know nothing about dump their genetic makeup inside their bodies and let someone else come behind him and do it. If any of those seeds conceive, Listen, could you imagine the caliber of demon that would gnaw and claw its way out of that mangled, ripped, pus-filled, discharge-emitting flap of a tear between her legs? We're seeing it, people. We're seeing it. We have women who are saying that they would help educate their 13-year-old child about SEX. Right? I want to go back to that. 
For like getting a, a, a 13 year old girl a toy, I'm not sure if I would get my 13 year old girl a toy. Do I think it's inherently wrong? If it's a vibrator or something that like they were describing in the video, which they said, if my 13 year old asked for the vibrator and I, I would get it for her if it's something that it's low vibrational, that it's not nothing serious. To it. Let me see if I can show you. I would love to believe in my heart of hearts that a conversation like that wasn't real, right? That a conversation like that is more so something we heard. There we go. And for me personally, I would, um, having, if I had a daughter, I would encourage her to explore her body as much as she wanted to. Listen, you guys got to pay attention to words when people use them. She said, I would encourage her to. Right. As long as, as it was not in a way that was like uh, inappropriate for her age. Touching yourself at 13 years old is not inappropriate for your age. Hell, dry humping at 13 years old is not inappropriate for your age. The question lies, what comes after dry humping? You encourage your child to dry hump. What the heck do you think is next? Right? You guys have to be crazy if you don't believe that these are demons. There aren't people in that chat who could wake up and force themselves to try to mimic what we're seeing out of these women. Right? It's because we're dealing with what the Bible talks about, spiritual wickedness in high places. These women, well, you see how the Bible talks about Babylon the Great. We all know that they're talking about America. We all know. I had some other clips that I didn't even want to show, right? What they're allowing to happen in these schools, and it's powered by women. Let's go. And for me personally, I would, um, having, if I had a daughter, I would encourage her to explore her body as much. I wanted to speak on the alcohol thing and like, for instance, the drug thing, right? So like, this is the I woman know a here. lot of people who they I know. first smoke a, a joint with their mom or their dad and they are the most risk. This is the woman. Her name is Mel. She's the one you hear in all of these clips. She's actually an attractive woman responsible of people that I know that do re recreational drugs. They are not like people who are like smoking all day, every day, just always high, like super irresponsible, blah, blah, blah. They usually are like, oh yeah, I allow myself this amount this time, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. I just find that, yes, is there a possibility that introducing things to your child at an earlier age can cause them to like abuse the thing? Yes. Is there a higher probably uh, probability that they will learn how to maneuver that thing in a more healthier, responsible way. I believe it's, it's the latter. If you listen to these people talk, it's almost like they're not aware that you can introduce your child to computer science. Right? Instead of that pants burning that you were talking about, did you know that you could introduce your child to physics? Right? I'm going to get off of the show today. I'm probably going to lay on the couch and be liberated. I feel as though I have been liberated. I know now that we're messing with demons. That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with demons, real, honest to God, real life demons that we're walking by.
there is nothing else that can even sit. Yeah, there's nothing else that can quantify what we're seeing and what we're experiencing. The international quiet storm in this situation. My brother. My brother said, this is America in 2024. I've gotten numb to it and just stay out of black women's way. He say, stay out of black women's way. They will destroy themselves if you give them enough time. Let's go here. I don't know why. Uh, da, 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 da. Look what they're doing to these children. That's not a teen. That's a child. Prepubescent. That's why we have to keep saying something. What you guys are shooting out there into society is every person's nightmare. The boys and the girls. They're pretty much trash. They don't stand a chance even even before they gnaw their way out of out of the womb. You remember when we used to hear our people say, you stay in a child's place? How can a child stay in a child's place when you are thrusting that child into the experiences of an 18-year-old? I just really need to know what type of benefit this could be to this young girl outside of completely diminishing her innocence. All she knows now is that I look like mama and mama's friends. Maybe I can do the other things mama and mama's friends do. Next time, next time mama ain't looking, I'm gonna pick up one of her cigarettes. Whatever. I was really humbled when I came across this information because it does bother me for real. It does bother me. I, I have, I'm have i the type of individual, I have to figure things out. I have to know things, right? I have to at least be on the right path. Look around at everything that you're seeing in the black community. These women are the scourge of society. They can't be controlled even by their own men, right? And the people who have the most control over them have done more damage on this planet than anyone in history. Their fathers, Babylon the Great, the American government. That's who they listen to, right? Look at who they listen to versus the people they don't listen to. Their men seek better lives for themselves. Their men seek to get out of the hole that has been dug for us, right? Start practicing righteousness. Their men desire, black men, their men desire to be left in peace, to live a decent life, to have decent wages, things of that nature, right? These are the very same men who they say they desire to be with us, people. That cash app. The very men who seek the most peace, who legitimately want better lives, who want families, things of that nature, these are the men that these women say they want their independence from, right? But the ones that they do listen to, right, 
are the ones who throughout history have bombed small towns, lying, saying that they suspected weapons of mass destruction in these areas, right? These are the ones who have enslaved nations of people, cut their testicles off in front of their children in the town square, fed their children to alligators, beat the flesh off of the back of other human beings with whips, right? Here's the crazy part. Ironically, these are the people they show more respect to than anyone. American government. When they go to work for these people, they don't give them the mouth that they give to the men who look like them. Somehow, they find a way to dig deep down in themselves and muster up whatever enough inside of them to show those people respect. Look who they receive their provisions from. Think about it. Look where they get their sustenance from. When things get tough, who pays their rent? Section 8. When food gets tight, who provides for them? EBT. When they need health care, who do they go to? Medicaid. When they need protection, who do they call? The police. I hope you all really just paid attention to that. These are not our women. They are emphatically not our women. Everything about them resembles not our women. The reason we know that they're not our women, our opinions as it pertains to what we do and don't like matters the least of all to them. Our opinions don't do anything but get trouble started to where they could end up calling the police on us. Yeah. Quiet storm in this situation with the cash app, my brother. The international quiet storm, right? Listen, those of you who know me, you know that I dig at this thing night and day trying to find solutions. Just so I can come up with a deeper understanding. This thing has been plaguing me ever since I came into the understanding since I came into the understanding of how deep these women really are embroiled in the sludges of sin. I don't want to keep using these type of words to turn it into like a Bible study. It's not. I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. What we're dealing with, we haven't been dealing with it how you deal with something like this. I'm pacing back and forth in my home while doing research for today's show. The more bullet points that I jotted down, the more research that I did, when it started coming clear to me, I started feeling liberated. You guys got to understand, this is something that has plagued my soul and even caused great deals of pain to my understanding, right? And I'm talking about realistic pain. The same that you would feel for people who you care about when, I don't know, you hear something bad about them, right? I'm talking about real pain. This is something that has plagued my soul ever since I saw it in the large numbers that it's in. Had me trying to figure out why it is that we can't be as great as we were set to be. Look at everything that we dominate in. 
The issue is this. We dominate in all of the unimportant things and the things that are vital, crucial, and important, we're getting an F in them. While I'm walking through the house, most of this stuff unfolded right in front of my face. We had another show set for today. But I was like on cruise control, right? I was compelled, almost in a type of hypnosis, to do this show today. Hopefully that it would give other people who were just as bamboozled as I am about all of these things that we're seeing some type of clarity, right? Most of us, even other black women who have not opted to worship I don't know, we could call it the Antichrist. I know the Bible talks about a lot of people, especially in the black community, we were always groomed with sayings like the end of the world. There's not going to be an end of the world. There's going to be an end of this system as we know it, right? The current system that we live in, we're going to be exposed to something far more drastic. Even in the Bible, it says this earth won't be destroyed. The Bible also goes on to say, that God is going to take back, take this planet back to its original intended purpose before Adam and Eve sinned. The Bible goes so far to say that an adder is like the most deadly snake, right? The Bible goes on to say that a child, in these times, a child will be able to play with an adder and the adder will not do any wrong by it. So it's not going to be the earth that's going to be, that's going to end. It's going to be the system that we all have become comfortable maneuvering in. There's going to be things like one world governments, things of that nature, right? One world churches, one world religions, all of these things. One world police, things like that. What we're seeing right now is those stages of all of that. If it is true, a lot of people suggest that black people are God's chosen people. The reason that I, I used to didn't believe things like that, but the reason that I started believing it is because we stick out like a sore thumb on this planet. We really do stick out like a sore thumb on this planet. And the things that we go through, they're unimaginable. They're unimaginable. What I want people to understand is you're going to have to stay away from these people. These are literally devil worshipers. They have succumbed. Listen, and I want to say this to you. A lot of you don't understand this. What we call black culture, this isn't black culture. This is a man-made culture. We, we don't do this stuff. I'm old enough to remember. Listen. Our music was engineered to talk about pop, 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 and all of those things. That's not typically what we come from. We come from Marvin Gaye. We come from the Gap Band. We come from all of those things, right? How it was engineered was, even now, you can't, if you talk, name me a rapper who talks positive, and in his music, his or her music is contained ways to elevate and be a better person. Name me one. Outside of J. Cole, you'll be stumped. Bone Thugs and Harmony, uh, you should, you guys should look this up on YouTube. Bone Thugs and Harmony said that they went to a meeting one time and they revealed in that meeting, I think they had to sign something that said that they wouldn't say nothing about it, but when they started, when prisons went uh, public, and people were able to invest in them, they said they were going to start catering to music that incited men to do more things that would cause them to fill up the prisons. We're living in it. It's real. Most of us who have not subscribed to worshiping Babylon to just call it what it is, to worship in Satan. I know the Bible talks about it like 
Babylon the Great has fallen. Like the United States is going to fall. There's no doubt about it. I believe it's within the next 10 months or so. The stages at least are going to be revealed then, right? We're already being ostracized from the BRICS system. All of the other most powerful countries have already started a banking system and ostracized the United States from it. The stages are being set for the United States to reap all that is sold. Most of us, and I'm going to say this, the women, when I say most of us who have not opted to worship Satan, the women who haven't is because they have men in their lives or they're marriage minded and they're looking for someone like that, right? It's not the women who say, I don't need a man. Those women are gone. Those are devil worshipers. If you don't believe that those are devil worshipers, look at their everyday activities, behaviors, and tell me who their lifestyles resemble. Is it that of righteousness or the United States? Right? These women are having five times the abortion of any other race. Most of us have been banging our heads about this thing. Um, this thing that we see every day. And none of us can adequately come up with anything of math equations, of common sense, and things like that to make it make sense. The problem that we've been experiencing, people, we've been trying to break this thing down from a factual perspective instead of a spiritual perspective. These deeds that we're seeing in these women, they cannot be performed or understood from a factual or common sense or a logical aspect. They can't be understood from that aspect. You can only apply this type of behavior to that of something. <laughs> if you can't get good, wholesome information, advice, and guidance that will lead to a better life outcome from home, from your mom, where are you going to get it from? These women are setting the children up to fail. I am convinced more than ever and more than anything that we are literally walking around, walking past real life demons. I know the Bible says this, and this should be something that I've paid attention to it all my life, most of my life. You should too, probably. The Bible says, be careful to entertain strangers, whereby... Some have crossed paths with angels unaware of it. This is what the Bible says. Google it. That's why even, you know, in L.A., the homeless thing, it's like, it's a headache, right? Sometimes you feel like, bro, I don't have anything. But knowing that scripture most of my life, it keeps me from behaving like that because like, right, what if you just disrespected an angel, right? For those of you who have a type of faith. But you must also know if the Bible says that we have crossed paths with angels, surely to God we have to know that there's demons here as well. 63% of these women pretty much have babies by strangers. Multiple babies by strangers. 41% of the time that they have children, the first guess on who the father is is wrong. F 
50% of the time, well, 46, 46% of the time, the children in the black community have been pinned on someone who's not really the father. They have no boundaries, no integrity, no conscience, and they'll do just about anything. What's the number one word that we use with these women? Delusional. Tell me what this sounds like to you. And for this cause, I shall send strong delusion upon them that they may believe a lie. That's what the Bible says. The only person I've ever been able to tie that to is these women. It's like you can talk to them. You can talk to them. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We are walking amongst real life demons. Listen, I'm telling you, I, I'm so liberated. I could almost shut this show down indefinitely now. I feel like I real life have the answer. I'm a logical man. I've been trying to figure out like what's really going on. These things that we're seeing, right? It's unlike anything we've come to be able to understand. And they do it so fluently. There's no conscience about it. Let me pop this up here real quick. Let me pop this up here real quick. I shouldn't, but it probably already hit me with the is what's one race you would not date black girl black was because usually they are most ratchet i don't see how you can hate from outside of the club you can't even get in <laughs> leg out do you know the things that this girl has likely already experienced. <laughs> I think I said it on yesterday's show. Shout out to the international quiet storm in this situation. My day one, you know what it is. I think I said this like yesterday or the day before. I wish we had some type of, you know how you could put drugs in a thing, shake it up, and it'll tell you whether it's not test positive. Do you know what these JJs would tell us if we had something that could really tell us how many, the cock of intake level of these JJs? You could just, I don't know, maybe, maybe... <laughs> How to show online, people. Imagine having some glasses that would really do math equation on women's cock intake number as you walk by them. Women would think that we're crazy, right? It would also scan for previous STIs, right? Men would just be walking down the street cross paths with a girl and she'd be tripping because she'd hear us be like, damn! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Woo! Listen. The things that have taken place between these legs Is abominable. We all know. I'm being honest with you. I'm beyond liberated today. 
because I feel as though I don't have to do that. Much. I know for a fact I'm right. I know it for a fact. I know it for a fact. Sometimes it kind of sucks being a man of logic, you know, and, but this is what men do. That's how we build skyscrapers um, for the world, things of that nature. We, we don't stop. We, we got to figure things out and we kind of welcome a tough time about it because we problem solve, right? Withhold their true identities actually and expect men to just accept them as they currently are. <laughs> what I'm telling you guys is this, leave these women alone. Um, and here's what I mean when I say leave these women alone. You know what? Matter of fact, matter of fact. There's a new phrase that I, you guys are going to start seeing me use. Bad. Black women are the devil. I believe it with my whole heart. The ones who aren't, we'll know who they are. We can get along with them. They're not moving according to the ways of the world. I believe that every woman that we see who is moving according to the ways of the world, when you see them twerking about, when you see them cluttered and caked in makeup, when you see them doing everything that the United States has manufactured and made cool, those are demons. Those are real life demons and i'm telling you but you know it's not going to change much for me because i wouldn't deal with them anyway i wasn't i've had one girlfriend in my entire life i don't know if it was you know just god guide me but i knew I, I even had some very attractive women where i'm from but they were masculine right they will set it off you know what i mean if if they get crossed i never wanted women who had that i didn't I, I could care less if I have a woman who can't even defend herself, right? Because where does that benefit us? Where? If the threat is too large, even her being able to defend herself isn't going to matter, right? I'm talking about that soft girl era, right? That's what I was raised to believe a lady was. Somebody who encourages me, somebody who persuades me to dig in my bag and be all that that woman was groomed to believe that a man is supposed to be to a woman like her. But you can't, listen, you can't, you can't give that much of yourself to these women. A lot of you guys are crossing paths with real live demons. I know it for a fact. The international quiet storm in this situation with the super chat. Here's to leaving these women alone. You know what it is. Listen, you guys don't even know the crusade I'm about to go on as it pertains to these bad women. Black women are devils. And we don't have to say, not all. The women who aren't, they will be readily apparent to us. They'll be apparent. When you see women down in these comments and they can understand what we're talking about, it's very clear that those aren't the demons. When I say demons, I'm talking about we saying the simplest things to them. You know, it's not really conducive to a good life outcome for you to be having sex with multiple. And who made you to judge and judge? Demon. Demon. Right? <sighs> Listen, you people don't even know what has happened today. It's almost like my entire life changed. Do you know how many people can't even get conversation from me anymore? I would not dare go back and forth with you because for one, I don't even believe that it's you that I'm talking to. The truth of the matter is I'm overly certain that you are a child of Satan. I want to explain something to you guys why you hear me speaking so emphatically on this. A lot of you don't, you were taught the 666 that's not the mark of the beast. The Bible says this. And in that day, it goes on to let you know, it says, 
those who do not accept the mark of the beast, I think it says in their right hand or their forehead, will not be able to buy or trade, right? It's going to be a currency, people. The mark of the beast. Who is the beast? It is the United States government. And if it's not the United States, it's going to be something that is aligned with the United States. The reason why guys, oh, outside of you won't be able to buy, sell, or trade, it says, even though you won't be able to buy or trade, if you accept it, in no wise shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. You know why? Because once you accept that mark, you are pledging your life to that beast and not God. God would not take sloppy seconds from anybody. We That's just that simple. Most of you men won't take it from a woman. So what makes you think God will? Right? What we are experiencing today is a blessing, right? And the reason I say it's a blessing, when you can identify something, you can avoid it. These are the absolute only conditions that I would advise you to mess with one of these women. Let's go. Turbulence, people. If that woman won't come under your authority so strong, I'm talking about she openly acknowledges her submission to you. Don't even, don't even accept this from her. If she still bears that really strong spirit, that buck back spirit, that has to have the last word spirit, I wouldn't, listen, let's do it like this. Let's say we can see demons. Let's say that they really did have horns sticking out of their heads, right? Let's say one of them came and said, my poo nanny, everybody I've ever dealt with has said this thing is slick, sloppy, slimy, wet. And I guarantee you my BJ game, you're nut in three minutes, right? Guaranteed. How many of you would take head and sloppy wet from that demon? You know it's a demon. Crazy part is there's some sick individuals who would. But I'm talking in general for the average person. If that person being a demon and you knowing what all comes along with the demon, if that person de being a demon would force you to concede, I'm good. Then why would you deal with that demon on any other level? Do you have any clue what happens when you allow a demon into your life? I don't care if it's for the poo nanny. I don't care what it's for. Do you have any clue what happens when you let a dishonest thief stay with you for a month? It won't even last a month. You'll have to put that person out in two weeks for some BS. Now, what do you think about a freaking demon? I said all that to say this. You people better start opening your eyes. Some of you are traveling in company of demons. And you don't even know why you're experiencing so much BS that typically doesn't really happen to you, right? You're traveling in the company of a demon. Listen, um, the girl, uh, Romeo off the Steve Harvey show. Some of you know his real name. They were just looking to have a good time. Somehow bumped into some female, something like that. I think the girl started hanging with them for like two or three days, something like that. The girl showed up at their spot again, and they were talking about getting out and doing this and that. She made a phone call to her, what was her cousins? Told them that these guys had been doing things to her that she didn't approve of. And long story short, Romeo, amazing dude. You can look at his energy and tell that this is a good young guy, right? Shot in the back of the head with an AK-47, an assault rifle, I'll just say that. Later on, after they got them all, this girl revealed that they really didn't do anything to her. This is what can happen when you allow yourself to not only cross paths with a demon, 
but attach yourself to that demon for longer than you should. Phone calls, all of it. Look at what these women are shooting out of their pus-filled vajayjays. They're shooting curses out. These, these children really can't be... Look at what we're seeing. I have a question. I've showed you this already, but I, I have a question. What's one race you would not date? Black girl, black. Because I don't want to hear it. So you say whatever bad words you want to say and I'll be back, okay? Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Now I have a question for you. <clears throat> Murder and Santana. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Shout out to Lindsay. <laughs> this young girl right here. In the chats, I want real answer. Just your opinions. I want you to tell me where you see that girl at, at the age of 15. I really want to answer. Somebody who is in an atmosphere like this. Shit. God damn it. Shit. The fuck? Now, the question is this. Where does she even get the precise cuss words at? Right? That's the question at hand. It would have been better if she was trying to look for bad things to say because she didn't know any. Right? That simply was not the case here, people. Listen, you hear what Miss Sierra said? Pregnant? You know that for a fact. That's the least of the worries. That's the least of the worries. We know she'll be pregnant. Look at these monsters. First fake but enhancements now face and cheek enhancements too. Matter of fact, I am going to do this a different way. I don't want to, maybe, I don't want a copyright strike for the music. Ladies, what are you doing? I don't know why that did that. Yeah, I can't play that like that. I know they'll hit me with a copyright strike. So let's do this. I want to show you how nutty your people are. They're not my people. Look what they're doing. <laughs> Miss Sierra said, what the F? These are demons, people. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
the International Quiet Storm. Hey, listen, my brother said, and they'll justify this by somehow saying it's men's fault. You think this is not demonic? These people have lost their identities. And I tell you this, I believe from what we know about the devil, he loves opportunities like this, right? You lose your identity, I'll fill that spot. I'll come in and make you who I want you to be. There's nothing more dangerous than a person who has lost their identity, right? She's on here. to know you have kids unless he's ready to become their stepfather and i always tell if you're new i always tell ladies don't ever tell a man you have children if you do it's after he, you already got him hooked and giving you money and he you know he's not going anywhere thank you don't tell men the truth that you have kids until after you already have him hooked and you're giving him money. If that doesn't, and he's giving you money. If that doesn't sound like witchcraft, I don't know what does. We're talking about some of the nastiest, sleaziest, low level sewer dwelling scum of the earth. We're talking about women who, if they gave you their address and you put it in a GPS, it would lead you to under a rock somewhere. Yeah. So lie to men. Yeah, that'll definitely go over well. Stupid. Oh, yeah. What if you're not sure if your man cheated? He's acting shady. Do you still cheat back? Adore you, beautiful. Um, If I think he did, I'm cheating back. I don't care. If he gave me enough evidence to even think I think he did something, if he even talking to other women that um, he don't need to be talking to, I sure would, because, you know, just in case. You know the crazy part about that? It's not the getting back at me part. It's the fact that you are so low in caliber of a woman. You don't mind passing your body to a person. And let's be honest. You need to know you have kids unless he's ready to become their stepfather. And I always tell She's actually okay. She's probably a five and a half. She's actually decent looking. So you know she's gotten some people. Right? She said, don't tell him till after you got him hooked and he's giving you money. What does she mean by after you got him hooked? Yes. Yes. She's encouraging them. I mean, most of them are modern day prostitutes anyway, so. If you're new, I always tell ladies, don't ever tell a man you have children. If you do, it's after he, you already got him hooked and giving you money and he, you know he's not going anywhere. Thank you, Talia. What if you're not sure if your man cheated, he's acting shady, do you still cheat back? Adore you, beautiful. Um, If I think he did, I'm cheating back, I don't care. If he gave me enough evidence to even think I think he did something, if he even talking to other women that um, he don't need to be talking to, I sure would, because, you know, just in case. Teach the baby to twerk. Let's go. Let's go. Teach the baby to twerk. absolutely disgusting what i'm telling you guys is 
The problem is this. Where these people are getting their information from, Listen, the international quiet storm. My brother said, notice the wedding ring on her finger. And some women are actually dumb enough to listen to this trash. 100%. We know they are. These people have massive followings. Massive followings. But let's go. And it don't stop. You gonna tell me that's not a demon? <laughs> right. The reason why I take such fancy to this one, get rid of it. What's the purpose behind that? You don't go get that type of cosmetic surgery done for no reason. You're down. You're definitely down to play the game. I think um, I'm positive that today's show is more liberating for me than it is for you guys. Like, I'm being honest with you. Do you know how many people, <laughs> you know, you know how sometimes, let me see something, let me see something. And I'm just being honest. Right. Screaming for attention to get that thing obliterated. Not And listen, not by one person. You don't go get something like that done just so you can deal with one person. Then, tall and second. You're the coffee that I need in the morning. Can't play that. It has a uh, what's the name on it. But listen, what I'm telling you guys is this. That's not normal. Women are supposed to be able to feel shame in society when they're moving in a way that causes them to second guess. Right? When you don't have that in you, there's severe levels of breakage taking place in there. Severe levels of breakage taking place in there. That will allow you to follow any and every trend that they throw out on TikTok. I think a lot of people don't understand that that's where the danger lies. The danger lies in being the caliber of person who will accept a down? You guys know what happened if you accept just any download that presents itself on your laptop? Viruses are surely to come. So what do you think about the fragile? About the fragile mind of a human being? Accept the wrong. Listen, I'm not talking about you accept one bad download. Let's talk about you accept five or six of them. Right? That's got to go left. That's definitely got to go left. It's what we're seeing, people. These people are being remote controlled by the music industry and by social media. It's horrific is what it is. Just a lot of us don't really have the wherewithal to understand what it is exactly that we're dealing with. The Bible has made it clear what we're dealing with. Listen, if, 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 if I gave you guys time to think of what else this could be, and of course we know a lot of the damage came by way of the crack epidemic and the feminism movement and the music, of course. You couldn't link this thing to anything other than spiritual wickedness in high places. Did you know that they said the age when girls first experience 
it's 11 and it's taking place in school. Not from over age, man. They're experiencing with their peers. There's too much information taking place, people. And once a human being becomes broken, they're broken. They're broken. I want to show you guys something. Let me see if this is it. Even at work. Can't get enough even at work. I want to ask everybody here. I'm not saying she's doing nothing that's like just horrendous, but my question is this. Does she strike you as a type of woman who if she was in a relationship and a man whose status was higher than her man's flirted with her. She wouldn't cheat. This is what you're doing at work? If you guys don't believe that this is spirit related, I don't know what to say. It's not how human beings are supposed to move. This is what's on your mind at work. <laughs> Listen, I thought what was supposed to be on your mind was stocking the shelves. Where did it come into your head to say, let me pose my camera and pop my poo nanny? Where did that come from? Spiritual wickedness in high places. I believe certain of these things are only, here's how we know if it's right or wrong. If I was her man and somebody sent me a tape of her doing that, would I be angry? No, I wouldn't be angry. But it would cause me to think of what type of woman I'm dealing with. Sexuality is on your mind even when you're at work. Again, I'm not saying that that was just outrageous or nothing. I'm not saying that. But where where is everybody's minds at? How come it wasn't on a funny skit or something? It's sex, 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 sex. That's all that we're seeing. And I'm telling you, things like that don't just randomly pop up in a person's mind. These things are ushered into a person's mind. It's the same. These people have been enveloped in a certain type of spirit that has them doing more than just that. Have you stopped to see how young these girls are having these babies? Do you know how low you have to go to find a black woman who doesn't have a kid? You almost got to show up at the delivery room when her mama giving birth to her. I said it. But seriously, there's no guidance. And we know that the moms are teaching them. Listen, this woman said she'll teach her daughter, she'll buy her 13-year-old a vibrator long as it's not high. She said pants burning isn't out of the question at 13. It's crazy. But listen, I don't know if you guys got any type of understanding out of today's show. I definitely did. I definitely did. Um... These are the moments that I look for where I don't have to beat my head anymore, right? Right. The Jezebel spirit has taken over most of the modern women today. But 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 listen, we have to relegate it to African American community because a lot of other people aren't moving like this. A lot of other people are not moving like this. And I'm not saying they're not doing any of those things, but what I'm telling you is, man, these people still know how to go back home to that, that, you know, even with, even with the feminism movement, after white women got the help that they need from uh, black women, they went back home to their families. Black women are still to this day. I don't need no nigga. All right. 
All right. But listen, people, we're about to get up out of here. <laughs> we're about to get up out of here. You know I rock with you. I think we're definitely going to do another recap of this show. We're definitely going to do a recap to this show. I think um, shows like this are the more important ones because you guys have to protect your energy. These are facts. You got to protect your, and I'm not even going to say energy. You have to protect your souls. When you have wicked spirits around you, what do you think is happening with these women who are telling a man, I'll give you the sloppiest top you ever had. Just meet me at this hotel after the club. She knows two of the men who regularly bang her out. She knows that the moment that man is out of his pants, they're going to come through that door and pop that man in his head, take his life. I remember, I don't know, it was a year ago. I remember the one girl, after they got busted doing it, she was doing a recap for the detectives, and she was like, you know, uh, Dre was like just laughing and things like that, talking about how the guy was pleading for his life and saying, I have a daughter, I have a daughter, and they shot him in the head twice anyway. You don't believe that that's a wicked spirit already enveloped around that girl to even be able to fall through with that. You people had better watch yourself. Listen, I'll say it to the women as well. The only reason I didn't put as much emphasis on this with the men is because men, they're, they're, there's definitely the men out there. I'll tell you who they are. Well, I don't have to. You know what they look like. You know what they have going for themselves. Um, I'm going to have to do another show more in depth on the men. The reason I didn't put as much emphasis on men is because men are more logical. We, It's a little bit, in my opinion, it's a little bit more difficult for us to get under delusion and things like that. But I know that it's real because the Bible talks about it. The Bible doesn't just say only women. I believe this. Actually, I know it for a fact. That boy Eric Holder who took Nipsey Hussle's life, if you just read those documents, you know something was wrong with him. When they seem like they've lost their soul and they'll do just about anything, these are demons. I'm just a little bit more careful to put it on men because men can kind of be rehabilitated. They kind of can. But I'd say this, the ones who can't, they're probably demons. They're probably demons. Mr. Watts said, bring shame back. Bring accountability back. You can hang that up, brother. You'll find that around the same time you find a car with an eight track in it. It's over for that. It's over for that. But listen, you guys know that I rock with you. How to show online. And yeah, we're going to do another recap of this. We're just going to go in depth with more study associated with it. But people, we are out of here. Hey, listen, listen, and I told you guys too. Listen, I told y'all, be paying attention. Some of you who've been rocking with me, you already know. I've done it a couple of times before. I want you guys to see the thinning. I promise I'm not getting any plugs or anything. All I have to do is start taking my vitamins again, right? In around 10 days, watch me have dreadlocks. Okay, I'm not going to go that far. But listen, I'm telling you, I've been pondering for a long time. I'm going to invest in this company and then I'm going to promote it like crazy. I started losing my hair. This is the perfect time. This was the perfect time. My hair had never thinned like this. This is the perfect time for me to give you guys a before and after. I promise you have my word. I'm not going to do anything deceitful. I'm just going to get back on my vitamins. They say that it is uh, it's not necessarily for hair. It's for your kidneys, right? But they say that that's when you start thinning up there, when your kidneys are unhealthy or something like that. Now, when I show you guys this afro, <laughs> this afro I'm going to have in two weeks, right? Listen, 
I'm going to use y'all once I invest in this company. I'm going to use y'all like I told you so. Hey, quiet storm, don't get up here and do me wrong now. <laughs> Listen, that was a vulnerable moment. <laughs> Shout out to my people. You know what it is. Quiet storm on some real stuff. Get off of my back, man. <laughs> I ain't manifesting nothing. I just got to take my, get back on my regiment. I got off of my medicine for a while, right? My man going to say manifested, brother. <laughs> Goodbye. You fucking crazy man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. Having an unnatural allegiance to losers is not like it. No. Sí. No. No, no, no.